Hey, what's up you guys? The Curious Owl here, and today I have our first announcement for the Battle of the Bookish. So Battle of the Bookish is essentially replacing a readathon that my friends Adri, Liv, and Ara all had created a couple years ago that was called the House Cupathon. The reason we decided to move away from the House Cupathon and change it up is basically because we had a lot of concerns at the end of our last round in June of 2020, considering a lot of the transphobic elements that the author who shall not be named of the Harry Potter series had gone. We basically felt very uncomfortable with the idea of continuing with the Harry Potter based challenges because we were unsure of how exactly everyone was going to fare with it. We knew some people were okay with it, some people weren't. We just thought it was best to possibly move away from that. This readathon though, Battle of the Bookish, does contain a lot of the core elements that the House Cupathon did. So if you were a fan of the House Cupathon and liked the setup for what that readathon was, it's pretty much the same. We've just changed the overall thematic structure of it. So first things first, this is also going to be a biannual readathon where we will have a round in January of 2021. And then hopefully the next round sometime in the summer, probably June or July. We are also possibly thinking of doing week long and maybe even 24 hour readathons over the course of the year. You guys will have to let us know what you think about that. So every time the readathon comes around, we will have essentially a different theme going on with the readathon itself. Itself. The first round we are doing is based on genre type. So each person that is ahead of their teams has a different genre that they are specializing in. We have myself who is running the sci-fi element. We have Ara who is running the fantasy team. Adri, who is running the contemporary team, and Liv, who is running the mystery and thriller team. Each team has their own prompts that they can use to earn certain amounts of points. And we also have some general prompts that everybody can use. When you join a team, you can only do your team's prompts. You can't take prompts from another team and use them for your own. You have to either use your team's prompts or the few general prompts we have. We also limited the amount of prompts this year for both general and team prompts because we didn't want to overwhelm everybody. We wanted to really make this something that's very easy for people to accomplish because we realized with the last several readathons we had done in the past that the prompts were a little overwhelming. But now we're going to go into the scorekeeping of the entirety of the readathon. So similar to how we did things in the past, we do have a point system for how many pages your book is. We are allowing you to DNF books as long as you have reached about 25% of the book before DNFing. If you've read a quarter of it and you don't like it, you can gain five points for your team for a DNF. If your book is less than 100 pages, you will earn 10 points for your team. If you read a book that is between 100 to 200 pages, you will earn 30 points for your team. If your book is between 201 to 400 pages, you will earn 50 points for your team. If your book is between 401 to 500 pages, you will earn 70 points for your team. And if your book is over 501 pages, you will earn 100 points for your team. We also though are including a possibility for people to read books over a thousand pages. We've had several people over the course of our readathons ask if books with over a thousand pages could possibly earn more points. And so we have actually added in that you can earn 200 points for any book you read that is over a thousand pages. If for some reason you're not able to finish your book at the end of the month, as long as you You've read about 75% of that book, you can earn your page points and any prompt points that you were associating with that book, but it has to be 75% or more of that book completed before the end of the month. So now without further ado, let's get into the challenges and prompts that are within the readathon. So first off, we have the general prompts that everybody is able to use. Now, the thing with the prompts is that they are going to be worth by themselves a certain number of points, and then you get to add your page points to that. This is something Something we've done in the past. For the general prompts, we are basically having 50 points per prompt. So you can only use one prompt at a time for each book. You cannot double up. And we are offering 50 points per prompt in addition to however many page points you get. So for instance, if you read one of the prompts from the general section, which is 50 points, and read a 300 page book, you would then earn 100 points for that particular book. 
We have three general challenges that everyone can participate in. Once again, you cannot double up on any of these. So the three challenges we have are to read an LGBTQ plus book, whether that is with characters that are LGBTQ or by an author that is LGBTQ. We also have just finishing a book in the course of the month. Even if that's the only book you read, you will gain 50 points and your page points for that one book. And we also have a prompt to reread a favorite book. None of these are necessarily required, but it, it, they are just kind of additional points you can get on top of your page points. Otherwise, if you don't read a book that it meets a certain prompt, either for your team or for the general challenges, you still earn page points. So now let's go into the team challenges. Now, the team prompts are gonna be worth 100 points. So they are worth a little more than the general ones because the general ones, everyone has a chance to use but the team prompts are worth more because they're specifically for your team's advantage. Also with these ones, you cannot double up and because we only have three per team and so you can only use them once. We're gonna start off with my teams because I want to and it's my team. So I am running team sci-fi. So the books that we have are first to read a book that is set in space. It doesn't matter if it's in a different galaxy as long as it is not really something on planet Earth. The second one is to read a book that has either a moon and or stars on the cover. Now this doesn't have to necessarily be a sci-fi book. This could just be anything that has moon and stars on the cover. And the third challenge is to read a book that delves into a topic of science you're interested in. This doesn't also have to be involved in sci-fi. This could be something based in medicine, whether you have a character who's a doctor with a specialty that you're interested in. It could involve space travel or aliens or anything like that. It could, you know, be involved in programming, like if you are a big VR or video game person. This also could extend to people that have psychic powers or supernatural powers in an otherwise contemporary setting. So like Carrie by Stephen King, Firestarter, um, anything regarding a contemporary setting where there just happen to be characters who have supernatural, you know, uh, psychic power. So then for Team Fantasy, which is going to be Ara's team, there are three prompts. The first is to read a book that is either a part of a series or a trilogy. Even if you're at the beginning of a series or a trilogy, or you're at the last book or anywhere in between, just read a book that is a part of a series or a trilogy of some sort. Second prompt is to read a book with a hero's journey. Now this may more in particular fare toward fantasy, so anything that involves somebody having to go on some grand adventure to save something or someone. And then read a book with a magic system. This is going to definitely pertain to fantasy more so than anything, so anything that involves magic. There you go. Easy enough. Then for Team Contemporary, which is ran by Adri, we have also three prompts. The first one being to read a book about a family, whether it's a biological family or a found family. The second prompt is to then read a book with people on the cover. Doesn't pertain necessarily to Contemporary, and I'm gonna say that Adri means more than one. And then to finally read a book that is romance centric. So this could be a romance, this could be a contemporary that is heavily reliant on a romantic aspect or plot line. It just has to have romance at the center of the book itself. And then finally we have the mystery thriller team which is ran by Liv and the three prompts we have for that team are to read a mystery that is set in the winter time. The second prompt is to read a psychological thriller or murder mystery. And the third prompt is to read a mystery about a house, inheritance, or family secret. We also are going to have Instagram challenges that are going to be going on over the course of the month. Every person that participates in it will earn five points for their team and then the winners for each Instagram challenge will then earn additional points for their team but everybody who participates will get something at the very least. We also are going to be doing Instagram lives with reading sprints. We haven't done this before. We've mostly held our reading sprints on Discord but our Discord is not necessarily the easiest place for us all to uh, access and sometimes our bot in Discord would get all kinds of goofy so we are transitioning to doing Instagram lives for some reading sprint. We will also be holding our live show on Instagram as opposed to YouTube just because we think that that's a little bit more accessible for people and it'll also give us an ability to really connect with you guys a little bit easier than we do on YouTube. So what exactly do you get if you win? Well, if you are a part of the winning team, you guys will get to decide what our theme is for the next readathon. So we will at the very end of the readathon have a poll set up with a bunch of different choices for a possible theme and the winning team will get to decide what is our next theme for the next round. We do have some other additional surprises that we will be coming out with over the rest of the readathon but you're gonna have to join our discord and check out the readathon for yourselves to see 
what those things are. So that is all that you need to know about the first round of the Battle of the Bookish. I am so excited for this because I have truthfully missed doing these readathons with my friends. It's something I look forward to all the time. Like I always love being able to plan for these readathons because I think they're just so fun to do and we've built such a great little community out of it that it's just so fun to be a part of and so fun to help run. If you guys will have any questions at all about what this whole readathon is and how things have changed, if anything at all, please let me know down in the comments below. I would appreciate your guys' input on it. We will also at the readathon be having a Google survey that you can fill out at the end of the readathon to let us know of anything that you liked about it, you didn't like, because this is a brand new thing for us. We are really wanting to change up what we've done and still keeping those the same kind of core part of the readathon, which is the point system aspect of it. But let me know if you guys have any additional questions regarding the prompts, how things work, how points work, anything like that, because I would be glad to answer them for you. Otherwise, check out our Discord down in the description below. It is open for right now. And don't forget that the readathon starts in January. So as soon as it hits midnight on January 1st, wherever you are in the world, that is going to be when the readathon starts for you. But thank you all so much for joining me in this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below and subscribe to become an owl at Narflock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!